If you're an inspirationist writer, you like to follow the muse. You come to a story with a little bit of dialogue or a piece of action, or maybe just some subject matter that you're interested in exploring. You really don't know where you want to go with it yet, but you know some of the things that you want to talk about. So maybe you just list some of those items. Maybe you develop a few scenes or scenarios or just a few dramatic moments. Maybe you actually go ahead and write a whole draft to begin with. And then you want to know, how can I fix the structure? How can I make it a little tighter? How can I make sure there aren't any holes? That's when you need to go in and find and refine the structure in the story you've already told. Dramatica has a lot of tools for you that will make that process easy and enjoyable. Before we look at the features you want to be using, I want to warn you about a feature you probably don't want to use, because you're going to be tempted to. Up here where it says Start Here for the Story Guide, well this story guide is designed to take you step by step from concept to completion of a finished treatment. And it's designed specifically for new users. So why would you not want to use it? Well the major reason is that it requires that you create a story structure first and then do your storytelling. Now if you're an inspirationist, you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to go through and pick the answers to questions that you have no clue what you're going to do yet. Instead, you go through and arbitrarily pick the answers and end up with a structure that's kind of meaningless to you and then try to do your storytelling on top of it. After all, if you determined that your objective story concern was the past and then later you were told, now illustrate how the past is your objective story concern, as an inspirationist, you're going to be totally lost. So my recommendation is only go to the story guide if you have a real sound structural background and don't mind structuring first. Unfortunately, there is no story guide path designed specifically for inspirationists. But you can sort of make one of your own here in the query system. The query system is a collection of question trees, each of which deals with a different aspect of story structure or storytelling. And even though there's no step-by-step -step path specifically for inspirationists, there's plenty of material here from which to work. The opening screen has three different stages of story construction. Story forming is where you create the raw underlying structure for your story, the area you probably don't want to do first. Story encoding is where you come up with illustrations of the real people, places, and events that will occur in your story. Now if you've structured first, you base these illustrations on your structure. But if you're an inspirationist, you can come in and do those illustrations first and then base your structure on your illustrations. This way you can work with the areas you're comfortable and then derive your structure from the work you've already created. Just by way of information, the story weaving section is about creating an exposition plan for how you're going to unfold your story. So that's really best done after you do your illustrations, even for the inspirationist.